فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to this episode of Learn Quran with Hussein Inshallah ta'ala we are going to be talking about Ahkam al-Nun Sakina wa Tanween in this episode Now what is al-Nun Sakina and what is a Tanween Noon Sakina simply means noon that is having sukun and tanween means fathatan, kesratan, or dhammatan. This is just it. So noon sukun and fathatan, kesratan, and dhammatan. Now, what is ahkamu noon Sakina or tanween? It simply means what are the rulings governing noon sukun and tanween? So the rulings that are governing noon sukun and tanween are four. We have Al-Idhar, Al-Idhar, Al-Iqlab, Al-Ikhfa. We are going to be trying our best to explain these to the best of our understanding. And I hope you understand. And please, if you do not understand anything that we are taking, please drop it at the comment section below. I am going to try my best and answer to the question. Like I said, we are trying to go traditional since we are starting. Inshallah ta'ala, we hope to be better in time to come. So we are having al ivhar What is al ivhar al ivhar means for you to make something plain. Pronounce it the way it is without adding any nasalization. So in a nutshell, we can say that ivhar is pronouncing the, al the Arabic alphabet without adding any nasalization. And ikhfa is having, um, al ivhar is having its letters and they are six. The letters of ivhar are amza, ha, ha, kha, ain, and ghain. What this means is that when any of these letters is coming after nun sakina or tenween, we are to pronounce it the way it is. We are to pronounce it the way it is without adding any nasalization. For example, man amana. For example, man amana. For example, rasulun amin. You see, we are having a lamb that is having bamatan and amza is coming after lamb. So you are going to pronounce it the way it is. Rasulun amin. Man amana. Jurufin ha. So there is no addition. To read. So just pronounce it the way it is. So if you pronounce Alif Fathatan, it's going to give you An. Alif Kasratan is going to give you In. So you just pronounce it the way it is. So this is Al Idhar pronouncing the letter the way it is. Coming to Al Idham, Al Idham simply means assimilation. It means for you to put something into another thing. In a nutshell, we can say Idgham is taking a letter that is having sukun. Please go with me. Taking a letter that is having sukun and putting it into another letter that is mutaharrik. When we say a letter is mutaharrik, it means the letter is either having fatha, kasra, or dhamma. Now these two letters, one having sukun and one is mutaharrik, they will come together to form one word that is having shadda. One word that is having what shadda. An example, and it is having its own letters too, and they are also six. We have ya, nun, mim, waw, lam, and ra. And al idgham is divided into two. Idgham bi ghunna, which is known as Idgham al naqis Idgham bi ghayr ghunna, which is known as Idgham al kamil Idgham bi ghunna means assimilation with nasalization. Do not forget we are talking about the rulings that are governing Nun Sakina and Tanween. Let me put it here. Nun Sukun and Tanween. Fatatan, Kasratan, and Dhammatan. Which means that whenever any of these letters is coming before Fathatan, 
Kesratan, Bambatan, or Nun Sakina, the ruling to be applicable, the ruling to be applied to it. So we have Nun Sukun, Fatatan, Kesratan, and Bambatan. Then we have the letters of Al Idram. And we said Idram is divided into two, which is Idram Birunna and Idram Birayla Runna. Idram Birunna, how are we to pronounce it? We said that is the um, 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 assimilation with nasalization. We have Nun Sukun or Ya coming after Nun Sukun. Ya coming after Nun Sukun. And it's going to be read Eyakuluna. You see what we have done? It seems as if the Nun is not even there. That we are having Ya that is having Shadda, but we added assim uh, nasalization. So Eyakuluna. We also have Mimmal Jai. Mimmal Jai. So Nun coming before Mim. And we are going to pronounce it as though we are having mim that is having shadda, but we are adding nasalization. Mim al jai. Where is the noon? That is why we are calling it al idram for us to put something into something. Then we have idram bghayr ghunna, which is the idram al kamil. That is assimilation without nasalization, and it is having two letters, which is lam and ra. How are we to pronounce this? How are we to pronounce this? For example, we have Yubayyilana. You see, it is different from the first one. The first one we say Mimmal Jai. You see the difference? Then the other one we said Yubayyilana. We did not add any nasalization, just the Idram. That is why it is called Al Idram Al Kamil, the complete assimilation. Then the example of Ra is Mirrabihim. Mirrabihim. The other ruling we are going to be talking about is Al Iqlab. Al Iqlab. Al Iqlab. Al Iqlab simply means for you to change something from its original, original state. That is just it. Changing something from its original state. And it's having only one letter, which is just ba. It means that when ba is coming after nun sakina or tanwin, the ruling that is applicable to this is al ikhfa. An example is mim ba'di. You see the way we pronounce it, as though there is no ba, there is no nun sukun there. So we've changed the nun sukun from its original shape, which is nun, and replaced as though we are replacing it with mim. So mim ba'di. The same thing is applied. Sami'un basir. Not sami'un basir. No. That is why it is called iqlab. For you to change it from one face to another completely. So sami'un basir. Last ruling we will be talking about is al ikhfa. How is al ikhfa pronounced? And mind you, the letters of al ikhfa. When you remove the letter, letters of Izhar, remove the letters of um, al idram remove the letter of Iqlab, the remaining letters are the letters of al ikhfa So I'm going to leave you to look for the examples of ikhfa in the Quran, but I will teach you how to pronounce al ikhfa You see the word al ikhfa it is as though you are hiding the noon sakina. So it will be read between al izhar and al idram For example, we have Qawman Salihin. You see the way I read it? Qawman Salihin. Another example is Aw Salatihim. Aw Salatihim. So not An Salatihim or An Salatihim. So that is why we said it is being read between al izhar and al idram We have come to the end of Ahkam Noon Sakina wa Tanween. I will see you in the next episode.